Playscape is building on the body of research which Sean has developed around textile design and the application to um, CNC produced textiles through the um, fabrication equipment that we have here in the building. My name is Chris Humphrey. I'm a current uh, thesis student in the 2G program. Well, I started working with Sean back in May. Um, I took a research position with him over the summer, and I jumped into the project and began iterating through various options of how this playscape could come together structurally. My name is Tracy Weissman, and I completed my MRC from Taubman College in 2016. I've been working as a full-time research assistant with Sean for about two years. I worked with him as a research assistant, as a student, and kept in touch since I graduated and was offered a job after about a year. My role is always doing the knit development, like studying the materials and the stitch structure and figuring out how we can create structures at that scale. I was actually looking at an Arc Daily article um, and I saw that Sean was, you know, referenced in the article, and I was like, oh, that's, you know, great, that's one of our faculty members. Um, and so after digging into his research a little bit, um, the fact that he was working with this cross-disciplinary team, especially in the, the spectrum of those that are um, handicapped, was really important to me. And I think one really awesome thing about his lab is that we all kind of have a personal connection to the work. I know myself and another um, researcher, we both have siblings that are affected um, with, you know, mental handicaps. Um, and disabilities. So to kind of have that connection to the work and then just the type of work that's being produced is so research driven and innovative that being in that space to explore the work and be a part of it was kind of a no-brainer when after talking with Sean, you know, it was, if I wanted to join the team, it was an absolute yes, you know, just because there's no one else doing the kind of work that he's doing. This is definitely the biggest group that I've ever worked with on this type of research. It was kind of challenging keeping track of all the moving parts, but it's cool because every different researcher has their own part of the project that they are really responsible for, and then they all kind of come together at the end. Like the, the frame is its own set of problems, and then the design of the knit, and then the translation into the program, and then the actual fabrication of the knit. So there's a lot of different steps. So keeping track of all of them and then seeing how they all come together. Because they do overlap, but they are also separate in that way. With this particular type of work in this project, um, in the lab, we're not really working in a silo. We are really able to reach across the street to the engineering department and you know, to other departments on campus, such as you know, kinesiology or the neuropsychology department, to get their insight so that when we are developing these projects, we're coming at it from a series of perspectives. I mean, everything we do is kind of out of the realm of like what people imagine when they hear either architecture or knitting. I think what we do is interesting because we're kind of designing things that seem a little impossible, but then actually making them and fabricating them. So we have like these two types of expertise, like the designing and then kind of like the engineering of the textiles and the frames so that they actually can exist. You can interact with them.